Hey, this is Adam Penner. I'm here at IMTS 2024. We're here in the Endeavor 3D booth, and I'm here with John Flynn. He is the VP of Sales over here at Endeavor 3D. John, how are you doing today? Adam, fantastic, man. Good morning. It's good, great to see you. Thanks for morning. being here. Yeah, wonderful to be here. You've had a lot of great news yeah. working with ITAR. Can you explain to us what ITAR is? Absolutely. So it's International Traffic Arms Regulations, and essentially it is a registration that is required to do any sensitive export-import control work with the DOD, uh, the energy infrastructure supply chain, any mission critical work for the U.S. government requires ITAR registration and, and equally as important ITAR compliance. Yeah. So that's uh, you know something we've been working on in Endeavor 3D for quite a while. We've been registered for a little while and now are proud to say uh, with our recent announcement that we're fully compliant uh, to all the ITAR requirements as set, set forth by the U.S. government. Beautiful. That's the Department of Defense, and of course, working with the U.S. government, very important. Trade to keep Department, that. correct. Trade Department, Department of Defense, uh, Energy Infrastructure, the Energy Department, so all of the above. Anything that's that's kind of sensitive to U.S. trade secrets, you have to be ITAR registered and compliant to be able to produce and support and partner with those programs. Yeah, and I've seen a lot of that, and that's very important, even with intellectual property, things like that. Talk about that process, though, to get certified and qualified in ITAR. What does it take to do that? Absolutely. So it's it's a uh, it's a rather lengthy process, as it should be. Very yep. sensitive subjects that you're working on, but there are there are no really mandated or prescribed steps. So you you can be registered rather simply, uh, which you'll often see a lot of folks get registered quickly and can advertise that they're registered, yeah. but will come short of being fully compliant. And so what we've done at Endeavor is take a really rigorous approach. We brought in third-party consultants to train the entire company, as well as the executive staff, the signers for all the export uh, controlled programs that we'll be working on. Uh, so there's quite a bit of training. There's physical security upgrades that have to yes. take place. So you have to limit access of what people can see and what they can get exposure to, non-US citizens especially. There's IT upgrades that have to take place. And then there's just an overall care of, of duty that each individual at Endeavor on the Endeavor roster has when they're handling export controlled parts. So it's uh, very rigorous and it's ongoing, it's ever ongoing uh, that, that maintain maintenance of compliance to the ITAR uh, registration standards. Yeah, and you've already done that on top of having ISO certification and all these good things that you have when you have a facility like yours. Talk about the services that Endeavor 3D has. Yeah, absolutely, Adam. We have a full suite of services. So we, uh, at our core, we're a contract manufacturer. So our, our business model is to partner with companies and, and organizations like the DOD to produce parts at scale, any scale, uh, but but ultimately you gotta get the flywheel spinning and that starts upstream. So we've got a full suite of design services, reverse engineering and scanning services, uh, DFAM services, anything that uh, is required to optimize the design or figure out even before the, you get to the design, what is possible, what should be done with additive manufacturing. We've got a team of engineers that partner with our customers and our prospects to help them understand what should be done. Uh, and then from there, we've got a team of process engineers that will dial in the process capabilities and, and um, parameters to ensure that SD parts go through production, the process is optimized for cost, repeatability, quality, in spec and tall perspective. Yeah, that's huge. That's the full service that you have there to set up and work with Endeavor 3D. Now, you also work with both polymer and metal technologies. So talk about those technologies. We do. Yes, sir. We have, we're proud uh, proud partners of Hewler Packard. Uh, so we've got a full full line of uh, their material offerings on both the metals and the polymer side. Uh, a nice fleet of the MJF systems that are all being upgraded to the 5600 nice. units. So we'll have pretty much all 5600s here in the not too distant future. And then on the metal side, particularly of interest to the DoD and the ITAR related yeah. folks uh, because of the metal stainless properties, but we run 316L and 174. Okay. Uh, so huge for maritime yeah. applications and energy infrastructure applications that need really a higher, a higher material property than you'll get on the polymer side. Uh, and we're proud to say, very proud to say that we were the first uh, installed base unit for HP's, North American installed base units for HP's metal jet binder jetting system, the S100. Wonderful, I know that metal jet even uh, debuted here two years ago at IMTS, so. Yeah, yeah. Great to see it now in your facility. So yeah, you talked a little bit about the materials there, the importance of those materials and why you're working with- Stainless steel. Stainless steel. 4 and 316L. Okay. And that's part of also those metal jet printers. Correct. And the services you provide on the metal side. Yep. Yep. And, and so outside of that, what, what other services? You talked about something working with the customers on developing some of their applications. So what do you see as your most uh, your biggest customer base, maybe in the industrial side? On the industrial side, Adam, I would say, um, you know, so automotive is kind of a bifurcation, but automotive is huge for us. Yes. On the industrial side, the advent of autonomous vehicles and the value that additive can add via lightweighting, via 
kind of hydraulics manufacturing is a huge hot sector for us. Yeah. Uh, so we have uh, quite a few folks um, within industrials, within autonomous vehicles who are going to production and not looking to convert back to tra traditional manufacturing with these applications. That's yeah. really taken off for us. Uh, and then, you know, we're seeing uh, an uptick of interest on the, the true industrial side, heavy equipment for spare and replacement parts is a big one. Yes, uh, yes. And uh, but also new product and introductions. So uh, we say bridge the tooling in Endeavor 3D. If you know you're bringing a part to market and you know whether it's customer feedback, market feedback, or your own engineering feedback, that design is likely to change. Ah, yes. It's not always wise to invest in the tooling up front. And so we can go through really unlimited iterations with a, a partner of ours, a customer of ours, to help them design and, and produce at production grade quality, production grade scale, until they get to that business case point of flipping to a, a tool to injection mold because the economics are there. Exactly. Uh, so it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's all upside for us though. It, it is. Now, I mean, Endeavor 3D, now oh, you've been doing all these service. Where can people find you? Where are you located and where can they find you on the web? Absolutely. Yeah, we're located just outside of Atlanta. We're about 20 minutes west of the airport in a town called Douglasville. Great small town, yeah, small yeah. suburb of Atlanta. Uh, and it's easy to find us on the web, Endeavor3D.com. Great website. Uh, and, you know, I'm always available. My team's always available. So I would, you know, has, encourage people never to hesitate to reach out. Yeah, John, I appreciate your time today. Thank Adam, you so pleasure, much man. for talking to Thank us. Thank you for your and, time. Uh, we'll see you later. Yeah, I look forward to it. Thanks for joining us here. Thanks, we'll everybody.